When she reached her mid-30s, Benedict Blanchet wanted to become a mother. She was single and wanted to try IVF, except that in France, IVF is illegal for single or gay women. So Benedict travelled to Denmark and Portugal, where the treatment is legally available to all women. I felt outlaw in my own country because I just wanted a baby. And that right was OK in other European countries, but not in France. Benedict's son is now 14 months old. He doesn't have a father, per se. All that, that matters is love and the, the fact that he was wanted. Cases like Benedict's, where she had to travel abroad for treatment, may soon be a thing of the past in France. The French government's proposed a new bioethics law that would give all women the right to IVF treatment, not just those in a heterosexual couple. The new law would fulfill one of Emmanuel Macron's presidential campaign promises, but it's very divisive. Its supporters say it would be a victory for equality, but its opponents say it would erase the role of the father and destroy the moral fabric of French society. In September, French MPs approved the new bill, but only after a fiery debate. Osez-vous prendre la décision d'organiser par la loi how dare you decide to inscribe into law that a child be deprived of a father? This shocks me. Yes, I'm emotional. You are playing with fire. The new law also covers other controversial issues, such as stem cell research, and some conservative groups worry it could be expanded in the future. It's a slippery slope. First you give all women the right to a child, then it will be for all men, and then we'll have legalized surrogacy. Senators are now examining the bill. If it becomes law, it will be a huge blow for those who say it erodes traditional family values. But it will create hope and possibility for single and gay women who dream of becoming a parent. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.